Hey. Hey everyone. Welcome to Haunted Hour. Yeah man. I thought uh, okay. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, everything all right? Okay. Uh, audio fine. Audio is fine. Yeah. Audio is fine. You can hear me, right? <laughs> Yeah, you, you can hear me, right? <laughs> okay, wait. That kind of show, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Because you are doing, you are using a tiny prompter, right? Yeah. Ah. Uh... Okay. So, uh, we got an interesting episode for you today. Uh, we are here today with uh, an old friend of mine. We did service. No, sorry. We did a BMT together, not race service. We did a BMT together, and his name is Panji. So he's joining us. In, you know, you're going to see him in just a while. But first, we need to give a shout out to our advertisers. Uh, we have Get Alive Seafood. You know, guys, if you want to have really good seafood at home, uh, really fresh as well, uh, you can get it from these guys. You can go to the website. They are also on Instagram. Their number one sellers right now is Fresh Oysters. And also, we have uh, got Boomeroo.sg. It's baby wearing dance classes. Baby wearing dance classes is a new thing in Singapore. Well, it's actually from the USA, and what it has is for uh, mothers to dance with their, their babies, and then they wear uh, uh, ties, and then yeah, so it's it's really awesome. Go check it out. It's groomroom.sg. What's happening, brother Indra? Let us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we should do the intro one more time again. Oh, no lah. Especially for the guests, ah. Especially for the for the viewers. Why? I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> Because you guys can't see this, right? Because yeah. the camera is on me. So Indra was just walking all over the studio, and I was wondering what was going on. You can listen right now. Yeah, of course I can. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, now I can hear you. Before this, I couldn't hear, so I just went went on the fly. Okay. Because uh, uh, I think something might might go wrong. <laughs> I'm trying to catch a ghost here. Because <laughs> we have previous episode where we have a lot of like uh, technical issues, right? Yeah. So I'm trying to chase the ghost away, lah. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't think you're doing a very good job, but but I can give some pointers. Uh, I'd like to say hello to Ramona Sidik. She is watching with the family, mm. and we also got people. Uh, Irene, Irene Chan is watching for the very first time. Our brother Joseph Dakota from Australia is watching us live, and also Tommy. Uh, Tommy Lia. Now, Tommy Lia is your wife, right, Panji? Uh, mm. Yes, correct. It's my wife. Okay. <laughs> okay. So sorry to interrupt you. Uh, sorry. Just uh, I think uh, Rogaya Sapuan mentioned that can't really hear Noel because I think that just now the intro, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, your mic is not really uh. Activated lah. Okay, so yeah. but but she says that it's better now. Hmm. So once again, guys, <laughs> welcome to um, our live live. live. Yeah. I'm Indra Sahib and I'm Noel Boyd. <laughs> 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 oh, this is very paranormal. Yeah, and okay. then uh, with me here in the studio is an old friend of mine. We did our BMT together in Pulau Tekong. Wow. Uh, his name is Panji. Welcome, Panji, to Haunted Hour. Yeah. Uh, thank you, everyone. My name yeah. is Panji, and I'm proud to be here and honored to be in Haunted Hour to share my experience with Noel. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, the oh. honor, the honor is ours, guys. Thank Bro. you so yeah. much. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna talk to uh, uh, Panji a little <laughs> later on mm. uh, about his experiences in Bukit Batok, right, in the area. Wow. But first, we need to give a shout out to our advertisers. Uh, get alive seafood. Mm. These guys deliver every Saturday to your home, mm. and they deliver like really fresh stuff. The number one seller right now is fresh oysters, all mm. the way from Canada, right? And they also got stuff like mud crabs. They got prawns. Yeah. So if you want really good live seafood, yeah, go check them out. They're on Instagram, and they also have a website. The details are in the description of this app. Yep. yep and yeah. Also, a shout out to Grooveroo.sg. It's baby wearing dance classes. Really awesome. It's from the states. It's the in thing now, mm. and they're the only ones in Singapore doing it. So you can sign up for one of their their classes, which they have on weekdays, or you can have a private class. Either like if you have your own venue, or what they will do is that you can get a venue from them, and mm. then they'll do a, a a private thing for you. Yeah. Right. So check them out at Grooveroo.sg. Well done! Wow, 
<laughs> that, that, that was quite a bit especially do it twice yeah so, sorry uh. after, this, after this I belanja you copy uh, bro <laughs> don't it people are buying us oh yes yes Uh, mm. I need to remind you that we have a Q and A segment coming up later on. So if you have questions, think about them now. All right, think of what you want to ask us, and then later on when we prompt you, then you can ask your questions, and then we will answer it live. Yeah. And I also need to plug what we have going on called buy us a coffee. Yes, for those uh, viewers who love our content, who love and support us, who who love Noel to mm. the core. Woo. Yeah, and think that uh, we deserve a coffee from you guys. Please yeah. buy us a coffee, all right? Uh, at uh, www.buymeacoffee.com/gfstv. Yeah, the, the link is there. Let me see whether I can point the right side. Yeah, is there? No lah. No, your, no, no, the, no, 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 you point, you point, you point oh, out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, this link, this link here, yeah. <laughs> My wife had to tell someone that day yeah. by the name of uh, of Renu yeah. that it's not like, it's virtual yes. coffee, yes. It's, uh, yeah, so if you do uh, buy us a coffee during the live show, we will give you a shout out. Yeah, and then we also like to say hi to Geraldine. She's watching us now. She says hi. Hi. I love saying hi. Yeah, her 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 surname uh, is very hard to pronounce though. Yeah, so that's why I I didn't try because I yeah. don't want to offend anyone. Yeah, correct, correct. A very unique surname. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, well, let me sit properly. My back hurts. Now it's so much better. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. So how how's your week been, man, Indra? It's been hectic, but very productive. Right. Very productive. I feel like I'm uh, I'm uh, I'm I'm losing uh, like a uh, few weights from my fats here. Okay. Yeah. I I don't see the difference. You don't see a difference, ah? Uh? I I I I try a new I try a new remedy. You know, mm. uh, every morning. Uh, no, not 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 to promote anything, ah. Uh, but this is just a natural remedy that I try every morning. You know, drinking uh, hot honey. Hot honey. Yeah, hot honey. Right. So, uh, feel feel good, feel good, though. Like okay. all the fats have been uh, washed out from my uh, intestines. Uh. Right. <laughs> I, okay. I, I wish you the best. Let, we will talk about this in a month and then we we'll see how, how you're faring. <laughs> Give me some hope, lah, brother. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay. That's why I said I wish you the best. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's on to the show, man. Well, you didn't ask me how's my week. <laughs> oh, okay. How, how bloody rude. No. <laughs> <laughs> we just talked about it just now. Okay, okay. How is your week, Noel? Wow. <laughs> What's on latest from Noel Boyd, man? Well, you know, it's been it's been one heck of a week. And yeah. then I had this COVID scare. Okay, what so, happened? What did um, happen, bro? I, I can't go into too much detail, but mm. I had a COVID scare. And then I had to get swapped yesterday. So I, mm. I was feeling really unwell. Okay. Um, And then, you know, I had some of the symptoms and all. And then, so I went to the doctor yesterday. Mm. And then they did the scan and then... Of course, you know they don't tell you the results immediately. True. So for like yeah. the longest time, I was just waiting, like you know, to either get a phone call, yeah, or to get an SMS, mm. right? And yeah. then, um, so now that you know, I'm here. Mm. It's because I got the all clear. Wow. Yeah. Suddenly, it got really loud in my ears, though. Something. No, no, no. Like I, I can hear myself. It's really loud now. Okay. You want me to adjust the audio? No, it's fine. Okay, yeah? Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, so I, I had this COVID scare and then, mm. yeah, I'm just so thankful that I don't have it. Yeah, and um, yeah, so that's why I've had quite a bit of a week. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's a quite hectic week for you lah. Yeah. Yeah. So, any good news for the viewers out there? No. <laughs> don't don't do this. Don't do this. I'm going to go home and get a year full and all. no no. Okay, no, no. never mind, never mind. That one we will save it like for months to come, eh? Yeah. Uh we will give a surprise. We will give a surprise for our viewers. You know, if you keep on watching us, this surprise will pop up, all right, in our future episodes. <laughs> okay, so yeah. um what about you, Raman? Panji. Oh, so mm. far my week has been quite hectic. I have to chase around Doing training. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh huh. Oh. What kind of training you do? I doing automotive training under military. Ah, uh, uh, I see. So called, uh, I call myself as a mentor. <laughs> mentor. Right. Yeah, I mentor those uh, soldiers who are going to become technicians to be. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I mentor them for the basic of uh, repairing wheel vehicles mm. that is available in SAF. Mm. And after that. Once they finish the course with us for 14 weeks, then they went to they're going to be posted to unit, wow. and they'll be doing technician work 
mm. as far as they can lah to the day they go already. Mm. So it's kind of like nice, a hectic nice. type of thing lah. Mm. Running here all over. Do you love what you're doing? Ah, uh, so far okay lah. Yeah, it, it fits well lah. It, 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 it fits well. It fits well. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> my my voice was really loud in my head. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's actually you can control the the uh, the volume from your side there. Yeah, I, I tried hmm. too, but then it didn't work. So I have no. a, I, I, I place an amplifier near to you. I know. Hmm. Yeah, it didn't work, so it's oh, fine. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's move on. Oh. <laughs> What kind of okay? Uh, Kevin Payton says hi. Hello, Mr. Noel Boyd and friends. Hello, Hello brother. Kevin. Mm. Yeah, Kevin Payton's really awesome guy. Mm. Um, and then <laughs> what the name? Ciao, Bobby. <laughs> Hello, love you guys. Ghost story number one. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what a name! What a name! Uh. Uh, okay, um, it's time to move on yep. to terrifying trivia. Yeah. Right, since we're talking about Bukit Batok, this is going to be about Bukit Batok Nature Park. Mm. Uh, it's a 36 hectare urban park in Bukit Batok. So during the World War II, right, a site at Lorong Sesuai was selected by the Imperial Japanese Army as a memorial for soldiers who had died. Mm. The shrine was built by 500 Australian prisoners of war right at the top of the hill. And throughout the Japanese occupation, the Japanese officials and military personnel would frequently worship the emperor in this shrine. Mm. Now, the shrine was destroyed by the Japanese at the end of World War II as they feared that the honor of the memorial would be tarnished by the returning British troops. Mm. Today, all that is left is the 120 concrete stairs and two pillars. Wow. Now, that's not it. Okay, so the dark history continues. There is a unsolved murderer, uh, suicide, and more. Now, in the year 2000, 27-year-old jogger Linda Chua was assaulted while jogging in the park alone. She was raped, then clubbed on the head by her assailant. Passers-by, they heard her cries for help, and mm. she was rushed to hospital. But she succumbed to her wounds after eight days in hospital. Oh, my God. And then there was a reward of $80,000 uh, for the attack. You know, for details of the attacker. Yeah, attacker, yeah. But mm. uh, this guy was never captured. Now, eight years later, in 2008, the decomposed body of a 47-year-old woman was found along the slopes at Lorong Sesuai. Mm. She had gotten into an argument with a man over some financial issues, and then he repeatedly hit her in the head. He then carried this unconscious woman to the bottom of the slope and left her to die. Oh, my God. And cool, man. If that's not bad enough, in 2019, police Ooh. officers discovered a vehicle parked next to the forested area. Okay. So they checked on the vehicle and then they found um, an unresponsive five-year-old boy covered with a white blanket. And then a short distance away in the forest, they mm. found his mother with um, cuts on both sides of her neck, multiple uh, cuts on her wrist, and also two stab wounds to the chest area. Ooh. A bloody kitchen knife with a blade measuring 18 cm was also found near her body. Oh my God. And investigations revealed that she wrote a suicide note and that she had strangled her son. And she also sought medical attention as she suffered from depression and she had suicidal thoughts. So mm. she took her own life as well. That's all that is at <sighs> Bukit Batok Nature Park. It is all these stories, like I oh, mean, all these uh, facts, facts, right? It's actually giving me the creeps, man. Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm, I'm having chills right before we go live for for this episode. I don't know. I mean, it's different from previous episode. Mm. To be honest, man, for for this for this very episode, right? I'm having a, a like a kind of like butterfly in my stomach. One, <laughs> yeah, and and another one is the chills on at 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 my back area, man. Yeah, but do you I know why? I don't know. I mean, looking at, I mean, hearing and also knowing that we are going to talk about a place that is quite haunted in a way, yeah. right? Or very haunted in a way. And I mean, it's, it's really chilling. Yeah, exactly. Mm. I, I I think there's just so much to discuss about Bukit Batu because it's just not that area, but it's the area around it, like Bukit Gomba, mm. Bukit Tima, you know, there's mm. just so much mm. that has has gone on there. Yeah. Right. Recently, you had a friend um, that went cycling, right? Yeah. Uh, I I spoke to a friend Uh, earlier today right and then uh, I mentioned that we're going to do a, a episode on Bukit Batok so he he said that uh, last month or maybe like few months ago 
uh, his friend. I, I think this happened last month. Eh? Am I right? Last month, right? Panji. Ah uh, yes, correct. Yeah. The, regarding the loss in the forest, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, correct. So oh, that's okay. A, okay, that's your friend. So my friend's oh, friends, lah. So they 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 have this uh, cyclist group, right? Cyclist group. So where they went trekking on a uh, one day, yeah. in broad daylight. So what really happened is right. One of their members got lost. Mm. Oh, okay. Got lost during the during the trail. So they try to find him. They try to search and comb the areas. They 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 they, they can't really locate him. You know, they shout his name. They can't find him. Yeah. In the end, they actually activate uh, the police and the Gurkha. I think this went uh, viral on Facebook. I think a few weeks ago. Okay. So uh, what really happened? So story cut short. Right. Yes, please. Yeah. So it, it went on. It, it went on to a five-hour search. Wow. Until they managed to locate him. Right. Okay. So in the end, when he said about this this lost guy, mm-hmm. right, when he is being recovered and he tried to explain his side of sto- his story, he said, "I tried to call you guys. Right. I was next to you. Hmm." I was next to you. I tried to shout your name, but you don't hear me. I tried to touch you, I but you can't feel me. You know, he, wow. that, that was that was his uh, comment, lah. Right, so this right. this come from a friend who who's who's actually a mutual friend of that cyclist group. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Okay, but then so what happened to this guy though? Like, do you hmm. have any updates about him? What I know, he's in days uh, now. Or oh, he's in a days. In in a days uh, So like. Uh, he kind of like wander around oh at home lah, at home. What I what 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 I heard like uh, he don't want to talk to people that much. Maybe mm. this is very traumatic, you know. If a person were to get lost for hours, and then after that uh, re- recovered, I I don't think so. It be he'll be the same person again, man. Yeah, because yeah. you know I I heard that um, there've been a lot of nasty comments on on social media about this guy. Oh, yeah. Okay. And and so these are just keyboard warriors, which are just stupid people. Okay, what kind of comments? I I, I need to know also. Like, yeah, but no, it, it's it's very negative <clears throat> stuff, right? Mm. Uh, about saying that you know, um, he's just lost for just five hours, or or like you know, saying that you know, why is this so dramatic? Like you know, it's not like like he was lost for days, hey, like you read hey, stuff hello, in other countries. Hello, yeah. whoever out there, and this is not it's not a makeup or this is not a uh, like a, a an act. For 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 anyone to actually uh, organize, you know. Yeah. If if the gurka is activated, that is something serious, really. Exactly. Okay, a person's life is at stake here. Yeah. How can you make can that kind of comments, right? Yeah, but like like I said, you know, there are just a lot of stupid people. Yeah. Um, that really shouldn't even have a phone or internet connection because they just say really mean stuff. Really, you know, I I've been at um the receiving end of this. Okay. Whenever I'm interviewed by the press, and then you know, I I give you one example, mm. right? There's this media outlet that I I dislike so much, right? I don't okay. like using the word hate, mm. but um, it's called Stomp, and okay. I, I was featured on Stomp, and then mm. the the stuff that people said, man, on yeah, on, on Stomp, that, on Stomp yeah. about me, mm. then about my late father. So you know, it's just it, there was even no link to it, but then you know that's how how people are, and then yeah, mm. yeah, so. You know, I but you know, I wish if you guys are watching, if you're part of that group, you're yeah. cycling and your friend went missing, and uh, you know, please reach out to him for us. You know, we just want to wish him all the best true, and a true. speedy recovery, man. Yeah. And, and then don't read all this dumb stuff. Yeah, true. You you just don't need it in life. True. Well said, Noet. Right. Let's mm. move on to um this segment that I really love doing because then we get to hear from you. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 So we got more people watching us now. Uh, Apparently, this lady. Sorry, before we go on to to this uh, segment, segment we got. Uh, so Irene, right? Irene Chan, yeah. Yeah, she says that she lives near the park, right? So that means mm. I think you live in Bukit Batok because I live in Bukit Batok. Mm. This guy lives in Bukit Batok as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then um, we have people like Sashi Naya, who's an old friend of mine, mm. and we got Nor Muhammad says hi, hi guys. Yeah, there's this uh, Jetson Co. Mm. Right, uh, there are many crimes happening surrounding the Bukit Batok Nature Park. Yeah, true. That's yep. what we have really revealed yeah. earlier in the part of the, our podcast. Yeah, exactly. So mm. now we're going to go on to the segment. Uh, you let us know in the comments whether you think this is real or fake, and then we're going to ask. I'm going to ask the the, the my two buddies here what they think as well. Mm. Here we go. 
So in this one, somebody apparently has... It's quite an old video, okay? So it's a little grainy. He's, of course, at his window and then he claims to have seen this ghost called the Hantu Gala, which actually... Oh, what Gala is, means like uh, pole. Yeah, pole. Uh, hanging pole. Yes. Yeah, drawing pole. Uh, yeah. uh, drawing pole or drawn tree pole, if I'm yeah. not wrong. So you oh, can see God, it crawling just... down and then now it looks across the wall. Oh, right, man. so he's going crawling down the flat, right, and then he moves, and then he's gonna glide across. So it's grainy, hmm. but you know you can you can still see it. Wow. Yeah. So then he goes down a little lower. I don't know, man. Oh, that's quite long, man. Yeah, t- like to me, it seems like a really large praying mantis. On, so this is a zoom. Yeah. Oh, they zoom in. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Wow. What is that? Hmm. Look like Venom, man. <laughs> Venom? <laughs> no, Venom for Spider-Man. From Spider-Man. Oh, I, I, I don't watch, bro. Uh, I don't watch Marvel, lah. <laughs> no. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, what do you guys think? Uh, let's start with Panji. What do you yeah. think that was? You know, I guess it's, it can be a praying mantis like what you said. That, that big? Be, that big? No. Because I, to me, right, when you... Zoom, not say zoom lah. When the shadow is casted, right? Yeah. From a far distance, it looks big. Uh huh. Mm. So maybe can be that, or it is really, really the hantu gala. Who knows? Because why? Uh, it's individuals' ac- uh, perception. Yeah. The correct. way they look at it and the way they uh, perceive it, lah. Perceive it, right? Mm. Is on their own. So we can't say whether it's right or it's wrong. It's individual. As long as it's not negative, like what happened to your well, your mm. friends' friends, right? Yeah. It's good enough. If they are, don't be so stupid by putting all those nonsense comment to. Pull people down for nothing, you know. Yeah, it is not worth, lah. It's not worth. Mm. The phone belongs to you, but the comment right, will be read by others, so it impacts on others. So have a life, man, dude. Okay, looking at the video <laughs> just now, right? Looking <laughs> at the video just now, you think? Do, do you think hantu gala exists or not, Panji? Hantu gala. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you're talking about me during the time when I grew up, right? There are people who tell me hantu gala do exist. Mm. Yeah. But there was long time ago in kampung life whereby some of the <laughs> Maybe the mom, maybe the they are late grannies who pass away who tell me all this kind mm. of thing. Ah, maybe yeah. it does. Ah, <laughs> but I, I I honestly never seen a hantu gala before. Mm, I right? believe you see gala. I, course, I, 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 I only I only go for gala dinner only. <laughs> gala dinner or gala premiere? <laughs> uh, yes, Noel, you got something to say? No, <laughs> no. Uh, what do you think, Indra? Do you think it's real or fake? Uh, for me personally, I think it's fake. Ah. Right, this way, uh. man. Uh, so, so, sorry, man. Uh, is no, 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 no. Nothing to offend anyone or whoever actually capture this video. It just, it's just that it's so good to be true, man. Mm-hmm. A ghost entity or an entity to be that to, to to be that tall. Yeah, I I don't know. It's so good to be true. Yeah, but then you know, yeah, with the paranormal world that I live in, right? Yeah, um, there's so many things that you know we just don't understand. Mm. But looking at that video as well. I don't know. It's definitely not insect. It's not a masupil. I I I don't know, man. I I don't think it's legit. Mm. Yeah, I don't think it's a legit ghost. Because one thing for sure, we are living in an age where um video editing can be so prominent yeah. in the social media uh outreach there. Yeah. So people are creating content. Maybe maybe this is just this is just my another half of my opinion. Uh, people maybe uh, are just creating content out of uh. Uh, how say to get attention from others? Yeah, yeah. But I, I remember watching this video like many years ago. But then mm. you know, yeah, it, it could be just good video editing. Yeah, yeah, man, it's yeah. very good. Whoever who do it is a graphic designer, probably. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, <laughs> Why are you so bad, Indra? <laughs> graphic designer, <laughs> a cruel cool video cool. editor. <laughs> Sorry, a good video editor. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> very cruel. No, I mean. Not, not to take away that uh, this hantu gala doesn't exist. Probably it does. Mm-hmm. But if if uh, I I don't think so. It can be easily captured on video. Yeah, I don't think so. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I I don't know, man. I've been doing this for 13 years, and it's so difficult to get something on on video. It's mm. yeah. I, I mean, it it's not just luck. It's about like so many other factors. Because when I grow up, right? Mm-hmm. When I grow up, I I I I I heard a lot of uh, myth. 
mm-hmm. of hantu gala, hantu titik, <laughs> hantu hantu apa lagi? Uh, whatever hantu lah. <laughs> The moment is a hantu titik. Wow, he got so excited. Okay. Hantu titik. Not 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 trying to be explicit here. There's there's a term right uh, in in mm. Malay we call it hantu titik ghost. Uh, with boobs Gigantic boobs Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So for me I, I I ridicule that kind of uh, uh, Terms You mm-hmm. know When I heard During my teenage years yeah. So yeah Man I grew up Not really believing In all this hantu uh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I totally understand <laughs> Yeah If I, if I weird right You tell people Hey I just I just uh, Saw hantu tete Yeah exactly And people will ask People will ask Okay what size is the hantu tete <laughs> <laughs> B cup C cup Whatever right Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Man, this is what happens when you get like all men in the studio. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> We are trying to make this uh, show as family as possible. Of course, yeah, yeah. because there are, there are families actually tuning yeah, in now, yeah. which is amazing. Yeah, wow. Um, yeah, we know of one lady who has said to me on uh, uh, over a text, right? That yeah. she's going to reserve every Friday night with her wow. family just to watch. Wow, thank you, Ramona, man. So yeah, so so if you guys have set aside. Your Fridays to watch us mm. live, it means so much. Thank you. Thank you, Ramona. Thank you. Right, let's talk to to Panji. Let's get to wow. know a little more about about him. Uh, okay, so you already told us what you uh, you do for a living. Yep. When did you move into Bukit Batok? Okay, literally, I grew up in uh, in Taman Jurong. Uh, that is Kangching Road. When I was small, then I shifted to Bukit Batok at. Year 1986 when I was in primary one. Uh, so I literally stayed there until today. That is now this year is 2021. So mm. I literally grown up from my all my teenage hood, from my young hood all the way to teenage until adult. And I'm get I'm married now. We happily married with uh, uh what with one wife and two kids. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm still in Bukit Batok until today. Wow. Mm. Mm. So what about Bukit Batu that you love the most? Oh, so far so good. Uh, Bukit Batu, I prefer, I like the ambience of the uh, the greenery previously. Okay, I see. When I was mm. growing up, Bukit Batu was kind of like more to greenery, lesser mm. buildings. So literally, when I was staying in Street 52, Bukit Batu, uh, let me be frank lah. I mm. stay in Block 537, mm. uh, yeah. Bukit Batu, Street 52. Then opposite my side was uh, just one or two blocks. Then after that. I can I have a so called our own soccer field at the next uh, just across the street. Mm. So literally, I can see a lot of greeneries when I was growing up during that time. Oh, mm-hmm. so that's what I love so much about Bukit Batok. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Then the food there also previously uh, nearby my area is about three to four blocks away. Ini so it's just mm. a walking distance. Mm. Um. So how did the neighborhood look like uh, back then when you moved in? Okay, mm. so when I was uh, when I first moved into Street 52, ah, uh, the there were a few blocks around. Then ah, uh, more like what I say, more to greeneries and also lesser movements around. Okay. Then the roads, ah, uh, uh, the roads is quite. You have to walk a few blocks just to get to the main road. Ah, okay. There's no there's no ah uh, roads in between. Wow. Ah, uh, during that time, there's no road in between. So unless the road ah uh, goes into your car park where you stay, the block that you're going to stay, right? Ah, uh, that's where the road is going to link. Then at the end of it, there's a dead end. Okay. Uh, mm. mm-hmm. At the dead end, ada. I mean, ada. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly want to speak Malay to uh, brother Panji. Oh okay. my! At, at, at the dead end, right? Yeah, correct. Uh, what is at the at the dead end? Okay. Forest or uh, what? Or is it like uh? Already sea area or what? Ah, okay. Hmm. So, ah, uh, Street Fifty Two at the end of the road, whereby I always, ah, uh, so called, when I was young, I always cycle there, hmm. and it's a flat track road. Then after okay. that, follow up by a, a, a greenery high slope. I uh, know high slope. It's a hill. Okay. It's a hill. If I literally grows, go up the hill all the way up to the end of the peak of the hill, right? Then I can go through down towards ah uh, Bukit Batok Interchange. Right. So it's a true road. But now, if you literally go there. Go up the hill, right? Is uh you follow is really the MRT track. Ah, uh-huh. okay. You're talking about the MRT track from at, Bukit Batok uh, to Gombak. Oh, okay. Is it the MRT track at West Mall? 
Ah uh, yes, correct. Right, mm. okay. The one the West Mall is uh is Bukit Batok, right? So after that then the next station we go back. So there's a tunnel going through. Right. So previously when I grew up there, the tunnel was not there. I see. So it's just a hill. So when I was growing up, so I start to climb this type of areas with my cousin mm. and also my few of my homies. Uh. My okay. homies mm. or my neighborhood boys. My yeah. boyfriends ah, uh. so they we all every time over the weekend always play soccer. If we don't have anything to do rather than play soccer, we go cycling. Then we mm. park our bicycle right at the uh, muddy track. Okay. Right. Then I said we just climb. Then we look out what is at the opposite side. Ah. Uh, Aha. Uh-huh. So instead mm. of going the perimeter, right, we are cutting through. Okay. Mm. Aha. Uh-huh. <laughs> so that's how it looks like when I was growing up there. <laughs> uh, what do you experience like? What are the paranormal experiences that you have experienced while you were staying there? Oh, okay. Uh, when I was uh, this thing happened to me year 1994. Wow. Okay, 1994. That wow. was uh, when I was uh, in secondary school. Okay. And I 1994. Oh yeah, I'm in sec three, secondary school, sec three. So during those time, the best thing that I always do during that time is uh, watching Malaysian Cup. Okay. Malaysian right. Malaysian Cup at the old Kalang Stadium. All right. Mm-hmm. So literally, I bought a, a season pass with okay. uh, three of my buddies. Mm. So we every home uh, Singapore game, right? Go and watch. Then, uh, we go and to watch. Mm. So if I can recall clearly, this thing happened when uh, the last the last game semi final. Of Bukit Bat, uh, eh Bukit Batu. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I mean, ah, uh, Bukit Singa- Batu. Uh, I mean Singapore. Bukit Gombak Stadium. No, 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 no. Kalang, I mean, eh, Kalang Stadium. Kalang Stadium. Okay. After that, ah, uh, the game was ah uh, between Singapore and Sarawak, if I'm not wrong. Okay. Mm. So during those time is ah uh, Fani Ahmad, Alistair Edward, yeah. Abbas Sangat time lah. Like. So mm. it's kind of the dream team. Yeah, mm. the good old days. Ah, uh, the good old days. Yeah, yes, that's right. The good old days. Then yeah. after that, during those period whereby ah. Uh, Everybody will be dying to go and get a ticket, yeah. you no? Know? But to me, I don't have to think so much because I got a season pass. Yeah. So on the day itself, I always uh, went there with a few of my friends. So on that particular day, uh, after the semi-final game, mm-hmm. then I went back to uh, going back home lah. So I with my friend, then we split up at uh, Bukit Batu Interchange. Okay. Uh, then normally he will walk together with me back home. Mm. Then due to one reason, uh, he said that he felt like. He felt like he's not quite. He's very tired, lah. Something like that. I say okay, lah. It's okay. So he took a bus home. Okay. He took a bus home uh, from Bukit Batu Interchange. Then I myself walk. Can walk. we can we name the bus number? Not? Oh, you the know, bus uh? number can. Yeah. <laughs> can can can. Must ask Noel first. <laughs> of course, why can, not? Uh, uh, I okay. don't. I don't own the bus company. I don't, I don't <laughs> really at least care. at least people know the route, you see. Yeah. Ah, okay, route, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Okay, so uh, the bus that goes through towards the my side there, uh, Street Fifty Two is nine four five. Now known as nine four five. Last time hmm. is ah three six five. Oh. Uh, then during my growing up years is three six five. Then now it's known as nine four five. So my I, my buddy was staying in another side of the another side at three hundred plus. Mm-hmm. So he took a bus uh three four seven. Now it's nine four seven. Yeah. Ah, uh, so he went back taking bus. So instead, I just walk my normal route. So this normal route that I always use is the place where I always played around with my homies. Mm-hmm. So right. literally, it's at the uh it is in between my. Street fifty two area and also the other side of the Street fifty two because Street fifty two previously don't link mm. the tight trail there right there's a like what I said there's a hill then mm. there's a sand trail correct not yeah uh, the mud trail so yeah. this mud trail is the one that I always walk through can can you describe Street fifty two okay Street fifty two Street fifty two how how does it look like is it very dark when you walk that time in 1994 oh okay so mm. basically along the along the road Uh, before the end of the Street 52 mm. on either side, left or either towards the interchange or towards more to my place, right? Yeah, is littered. But more as you get closer to the inner part of the place where I always uh, have my gathering, fun, playing with my friends, right? Yeah, yeah. is a very pitch dark area. Right. Okay. During night time, there's not even a single light that is very visible, right? Oh. Okay. Uh, so this is my shortcut route. Okay. Okay. Uh, so okay. I walk there. Hmm. Uh, what I walk from interchange all the way down. Then after that, I went up the steps. Then after that, as usual, hmm. I don't think negative. Uh. I just walk through. So as was I was as I was walking, uh, like normal pace. Ah. Uh. Then yeah. furthermore, last time as you all as I believe that both of you uh, are are known to like. 
during Malaysian Cup they always paint their faces right yeah, yeah, yeah. white and red yeah. Uh, yeah. so during that time I painted my face white and red at the same time okay. Okay. then after that I went back like that Okay. so kind of like Uh, if people see me, people think I'm the I'm the ghost, ah. Huh? <laughs> But that side, there's no one. So okay. during that night, I went back home, walking alone. There's no one. So I hmm. slowly walk, take my pacing. Then after that, halfway through the shortcut route, yeah, I saw a white leaf, a white figure. Wow. Okay. It looks like a to me lah. To me, to me, I personally think that it looks like a lady with long hair. Hmm. Wow. Ah, that's why the lady with oh long hair. Then I was God. thinking, I was telling myself. Did I see something mm, that okay. is you no know, like is it is it something wrong? Is, is your eyes playing ah, yeah, tricks on right. you? Ah, yeah. That's why, yeah. right. like people say, you when you are tired, yeah. right? When you are having fun to the maximum, you might forget uh, your eyes are can play tricks on you. This something, right? Okay, sorry to mm. sorry to stop you there. Mm. Okay, what time do you think that you when, when you walk when you walk around that that In, area? Okay, no. Uh, can, you, be, can you can you still recall? Maybe is it midnight? Uh, is it after uh, midnight? It's before midnight. Before midnight. Because, because I normally, around, yeah? Uh, yeah. because I normally, I remembered uh, Malaysian Cup normally they played around 7 plus to 8. Yeah, but from 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 then Kalang, that, from Kalang, Kalang to Bukit Batu is quite a distance, man. Uh, it's quite yeah. a distance. So literally, it's about an hour 15 now. Uh, if I take a train, right? Yeah. It's about an hour 15 to an hour half. Uh. So around 11, 11 ish. Uh. Somewhere, somewhere mm. around, somewhere around 11, yeah. almost to 12. Uh, yeah. Almost to 12. Okay. Uh, so, so then, mm-hmm. so you saw this. This female figure that mm, uh, yeah. with long hair, and then what happened? Ah, uh, so when I saw this female figure with long hair, I stop, I stop halfway through, and I rub my eyes. Uh. I rub, I was rubbing my both eyes, and I was telling mm. myself, "Did I see something, or is my eyes playing uh, my uh, is my eyes playing trick on me?" Like yeah. what Indra was saying. Mm. Mm-hmm. But then I stand there, and it's about a minute or two. Uh, I stand okay. there, stunned. Mm. Then I saw there's a movement like. You know when you have a circular, uh, a circular top, uh, shadow. Okay. Right. Then suddenly the circular top shadow suddenly shifted, the top half then go down below. Yeah. Ah, uh, so it's like you know, like I can put it as someone plucking out the head and putting it at the side. Hmm. Ah, uh, then somehow when I was before I saw that right. Hmm. Ah, uh, I missed one part. Ah, uh. before I saw that, I saw there's a movement like. The the black the black shadow, shadow is moving like the hair, like oh. hair like something like combing hair, you no, know? a yeah. movement of hair combing. They okay. comb like combing hair. Then I was like, eh, how come there's a lady sitting here at this hour combing hair? Hmm. So I tell myself, ah, my ass must be playing playing tricks on me. Then I stand on there for quite some time. Then the moment the the shadow start to get out of uh, shape, hmm. like what hmm. I say, the head started like the head moving from side, then go down, right? Yeah. Then I tell myself, oh man, I think I bet it's time for me to engage reverse gear, hmm. turn back and sprint f- and sprint for my life. <laughs> oh my so on that particular day, this is the only first time that instead of cutting through Street 52 where I always do hmm. after every after watching every Malaysian Cup game, I literally choose to run for my life. Using the perimeter, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I use the perimeter. I run all the way until under my void deck because I, the perimeter is littered well, lah. Ah, yeah, it's littered well. Mm. That's why, like I mentioned to like last time, Leon, I got shared right. The mm. perimeter is always littered, mm. but when it comes to the corner whereby the dark. dead end is mm. very pitch dark, mm. so yeah. that's why when what you're saying like just now, uh, Indra was saying right. Yeah. Ah, uh, maybe the ice playing trick. No, mm. when I was there and I saw something, the eyes playing trick. So I tell myself that mm. at the moment I do tell myself that my eyes is playing trick on me. My mm. eyes is playing trick on me. Mm. But when the moment the figure start to move, yeah, that's why I tell myself, oh man, you better run for your life before something happen. So mm. I sprint back all the way back, and I don't like what Malay say. Uh, you don't even, you don't even know that you are stepping on the ground. Oh, really you literally yeah. run. That's how you feel, lah. Uh, that's how I feel. So I wow. sprint all the way until the moment I stop. Mm. Right mm. when I reach the front gate of my house. Okay. And I'm staying at level 3. So can you imagine? So you use the leaf or just take no, the I, test? No, I take the test. Wow. <laughs> during during yeah, my no during time, those no uh, during time those to pass the leaf, man. Ah uh, no, during those days, ah uh, there's no leaf at uh, every level. Oh, okay, uh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. During those time, like the good old days, uh, the yeah. good old days, yeah. Mm. The good old days leaf are always at one, six, and eleven. Mm. So when when you are right in front <laughs> of your house, ah. Uh-huh. What is your feeling? Are you like perspiring, like 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 hell, or uh, and then your heart beat? Like like crazy. So what 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 was happening in your mind that, that oh, time? My my mind was totally blank, hmm. and my heart is beating erratically, wow. very erratically. Then uh, I can when the moment I open up, I got kiss myself. Right, I don't even realize that I opening the door. 
Right. Okay. So when okay. I open the door, okay. my father was still awake watching television in mm-hmm. the living room lah. Ah yeah, in the living room. Mm. Then my father was turning at me. Then he on the light. Then my mom was beside him. Okay. Then when they saw me, they say, "Eh, what happened to you?" Mm. Then I was like, "Ah." Huh? Then after eh, then I tell him, "Ah, uh, daddy, mummy, I at home." He said, okay. "Yeah, yeah, home. What, what's wrong with you?" Mm. Then I was like, "Ah, uh, uh, shall I see now?" Say, "No, no, never mind. You don't tell me anything." My dad say, "You don't tell me anything. Now you go inside the." Now you go inside the toilet, oh, uh. go and wash up your, go and take out all your clothes, everything, and wash out all your stupid paint on your face, oh. the white and red that looks like a ghost. Okay. Like we thought the ghost entered the house using the keys, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. Then you go and clean up yourself, everything. Then mm. if you want to tell us now, you tell us now. If not, you can tell us tomorrow. Okay. And mm. then while I was walking, right, then my dad said, damn, you're perspiring like you're running for a marathon, you know. You okay or not? That's it. Ah uh, yeah, I'm perfectly fine. Ah, uh, I do my things first. No, mm. I was stammering all the way. I can't speak properly. Is it because? Uh, is it because your traumatic experience? Ah uh, yes, correct. I I. That's why you. That, that's you, the main thing. It, it takes time for you to <laughs> recenter your thoughts. Ah yeah, uh, yes, correct. To to compose yourself, yeah, like, yeah. right? Because ah. you got to be mm. calm in order to do that. Mm. Yeah, correct. Yeah, I, I got. By the way, I got. I in the first place, like what I said, the my heartbeat was very erratic. So okay. I don't know whether should I. I don't know what. So I say to them. Mm. So after I shower, yeah. then I came out of the shower, right? Then yeah. my mom was waiting there, mm-hmm. waiting in the kitchen. Mm. Then I say, "Are you okay or not? Is there anything that you want to tell me?" Mothers are just being mothers. Ah, yeah, right? correct. Yeah. Wow. My my mother Amazing, is yeah. my mother mm. asks me lah. Say, "Are you going to tell me anything?" I say, mm. "Ah, shall I tell both of you later?" Then my mom say, "Never mind. Your dad is waiting outside. So why not we sit outside and talk about it?" Yeah, yeah. Say okay lah. So I sit down in front of my parents. Then my parents was asking me, mm. "What actually happened?" Mm. Then I told them what. I gone through. Then my mm. parent told me, I told you so many times. Mm. Why must you go to the places whereby in the dark at this hour mm. just because of a shortcut? Mm. Then I was telling my parents, come on, and mom, dad, I always play. That is my play area with my friends, and You're very I, familiar with yeah, I'm very familiar with the yeah. route, and I I'm not being proud of myself. Mm. In the dark, I don't use light. I know. Where is the potholes at the area? Ah. Yeah. Because I I've, I've been playing in that area every single weekend. Yeah. Ah, uh, then somehow during my time, they we play those ah uh, tamia cars or this kind of thing. Mm. We play down there, then we cycle, so we know where are the loopholes. So, mm. Your 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 mom, right? Your mom. Mm, yeah. Uh, how how was her reaction when when she knows that you actually have this traumatic <laughs> encounter? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What was her reaction? <laughs> she tell she she was like you know like normally lah normal yeah. uh, Muslim fa- uh, Muslim mothers yeah. astaghfirullahalazim. I mean, pray to God lah. Uh, uh, pray, uh, pray to God okay. first. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah they were correct. they were like they were like then first thing they were said she 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 was say that then my dad was like like I'm happy at least my son managed to go back. Ah, mm. mm. uh, because why my dad every my parents always nurture me from young. When okay. you go through something that is dark, right? If you really can't, please return back. You don't go through it. If you mm. feel uneasy, your gut's feeling telling you something is wrong. Please don't proceed. Mm. If you proceed, something will happen. Yeah. So I guess because I know, like what I shared earlier on, right? Mm. I run for my life mm. instead of using the diagonal way. I run the perimeter. Yeah. It's okay. It, it seems that <laughs> like this place, this place at Street 52, this dark alley at Street 52, <laughs> it, does it look the same now? Ah uh, no, it doesn't. Yeah. I, I'm bet it's very different. It I mean, compared to 1994, right? Oh, definitely. But mm. uh, what's the thing about this this dark alley, man? Does I mean besides your story, does this dark alley have any history or not? Hmm. That's the thing we don't know, mm. right? Because it could have been a village then, mm. like a, a a plantation maybe, and then you know people had to leave. So I mean, Singapore, whatever you see now, like in 10, 20 years, is going to look so different. Yeah. Right, because we are a city mm. that's always progressing. Yeah, yeah. And, and we 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 are developing like like nobody's business, right? So. Mm. Yeah, I I'm very sure it looks different. But the one area that always I think will look the same is Nittle Quilin. Yeah, if you guys don't know where where it is mm. or, or what it looks like and you're not from Singapore, we got a photo to show you. Yeah. Right? Especially if you're listening to us on Spotify or or Apple Music. Yeah. Come on to either YouTube or Facebook uh, and then you can see mm. this. So, that's my wife and a very good friend of mine Jack. Mm. Uh we are standing be Be or in front of this uh, formation, this rock formation. So mm. it used to be a quarry back in the day. Oh, okay, I see. 
Yeah, but there's a, a lot of people have told me like this is one of the most haunted places. Now, I took this photo of uh, the rock formation. To yeah. me, right, it looks like Lord Ganesha. I so I don't know whether I see this because mm. I'm a Hindu, mm. but uh, to me, yeah, it looks like you know you see the where the white trail is. There's yeah. like the trunk, and then right at the top you see the the two eyes. Mm. Yeah. Oh, so this is Nittal Quilin. Mm. And a lot of people through the years have been telling me that this is like the one of the most haunted places in Singapore. I've I've never done an investigation there because mm. I never got a permit from N Parks. But uh, Panji, do you know anything about Nittal Quilin that you can share with us? Yeah. Any oh. experiences back in oh. back in the old good uh, good old days, man? Oh, good old days. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Yeah. For me, if uh, you're talking about good old days, when I was shift uh, when I shifted there, right? Uh, the Nittal Quilin doesn't look the same like how you look in the picture. Oh. Yeah. So how do you look then? It, back then, it was just uh, there was no walls around that. Hmm. Uh, and anyone and, can go through. Ah, uh. uh, yeah. And not say anyone can go through. It's just like a backyard thing. You know, like mm. when you reach there, right? There's yeah. a grass patch all the way down. Then it will leads you to the corner of the to the like it's like a seaside to the side of the beach something like that. Okay. So uh. then after that, it will follow up by the water all the way. So it's mm. literally the thing is now they build up the wall everything right? Yeah. yeah. Because of I believe. Because this time previously the site there they don't have any drainage area if I'm not mistaken. Ah, I see. Uh, so when they start to build up the drainage area, that's where the walls start to build up. Hmm. Uh, so during the days whereby I was, I think if I'm not mistaken, I was about 11 lah, uh, 11 years old. I see. 11 years old, 11, 10 to 11 years old, and hmm. I got a cousin staying next block where I'm staying. So I'm staying 537. Hmm. So my cousin literally stays diagonally away from me. So it's 535. Okay. So both of us like to. Move around that Gumba area. So mm. on one day, we went up to the slope whereby they just finished constructing uh, the Bukit Gumba Stadium. Oh, uh, so that Bukit Gumba Stadium, right? That's uh, they build up the wall. So we kind of like, ah, uh, you know, kids will be kids, lah. Like, curious. So we went up to the wall and said, "Hey, the wall is quite nice, ah. Huh? See, yeah, very nice looking wall, lah." Huh? Then my cousin was saying, "Hey, we sit here for a while, lah." Mm. Then if good, I'm, good scenery, ah yeah, good, very good scenery. When because yeah. it's like a bird's eye view when you're on top. Yeah. That's the time whereby when I was there, right, the the middle part of it, right, the trees are not as tall as what it is now. Mm. Mm-hmm. So you can literally see the walls that Noel is looking at oh. in the picture just now. So you can literally see the scenery ambience. That's why I say in Bukit Batu, I like the scenery. Mm. Yeah, the scenery is amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. It's super I, amazing. I, I agree with Noel. Yeah, I love staying there. Mm. You know, mm. like from my my study when I look out the window, I see Bukit Timah Hill. Uh-huh. Yeah, so so wow. that's just amazing. Wow. And then when it rains and all, yeah, the it's it's just so nice to look at the mist and and the trees. But then you know, with such a beautiful place, of course, comes uh, all the dark history as well. Yeah, true. And then all the ghost mm. sightings that people have seen. I've been reading some of the comments. Some people say that um, that they have seen the Pontianak um, in the area. You know, mm. but then you know the Pontianak is something that a lot of Singaporeans see all over. You know, even in the eastern part of Singapore, like Pasir Ris uh, Park itself, people have seen the Pontianak there. So I, I don't mm. know, man. Wow. Mm. Yeah, it seems that like there's a lot of people commenting about Bukit Batu, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> um, we got Stephanie Siu. Uh, she's from Malaysia. Wow, uh, she's welcome, hello, Stephanie. Stephanie. And we got Zita as well. Uh, she says hi. I say hello back to you. Yeah. Um, who else? Who else? Okay, we have uh, Rogaya Sapuan. Wah, wow, Panji, mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> Mic drop, okay. Don't pants drop, ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Julian Edison Lim. That's what I'm. Going to say, I only know gala dinner. What is hantu, hantu gala? gala. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he's referring to the video, real or fake, right? Yeah. And yeah. what you said earlier about about gala dinners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joseph Dakota, the insect in on a window next to the videographer. I mean, you should uh, comment this when we are bantering. Uh, no, no, no. They, they did, but then we uh, we skipped up. past this. Yeah, oh, we went so straight sorry. into interviewing Panji. So sorry. Yeah, yeah. Just sorry, because, guys. Yeah, true. The insect is on uh, is on a window. <laughs> Next on the video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ramona Sidek says something mm. strange is going on at the studio. I don't know, man. Mm. Uh, I don't know what she is referring to, but I don't know. Today just feels a bit different. Okay, what 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 is she referring to about the studio? I don't know, but I'm I'm talking about what I feel. Okay, like, what do like, you feel today, bro? I don't know, man. It's just feels a bit strange. I mean, I, I let you share, and after I I, I share on my part, lah. Mm. Uh, you want to go first? 
N- yeah, I, I want to go first, mm. but well, you know, I I just feel that um, we have got like something else with us here in the studio today. I personally think, right, like I said just now at, at the beginning of this podcast, right, I f- I'm I'm feeling the chills, right, be- right, way before we go live. Actually, this mm. this not something that I made up, ah, no, ah. yeah, 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 this is something uh, that I really prep myself for to- tonight's ep- episode, mm. where I know we're going to talk about uh, Bukit Batu, and we know the history of uh, Bukit Batu Nature Park itself. You know, there's a lot of happenings there, a lot of yeah. uh, recent events. It just give me the chills, ah, bro. Man, right, right now, right now, until now, right where we are on the show, uh, no doubt that we are actually bantering or like having fun during the show. But still, mm-hmm. there's this kind of chills that 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 pass through my body right now. Yeah, it's it's strange though. But yeah, I don't feel that whatever is here, it's bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But it's just that um, it's just different compared to all the other weeks. Hmm. Do you think? Okay, just as just a open discussion. Do you think when we talk about Places that is haunted like Bukit Batok, Nature Park, or we talk about Little Quilin. Do you think that that all these uh, spirits know that we are actually trying to uh, reach out to them? No, I I know that. Okay, this is even based this, on on hmm. experience, right? Um, that they know what that. Sorry, hmm. let me rephrase this. Ah, uh. hmm. they know that we are talking about them. So yeah. then, of course, they get very excited. Okay. Right, because mm. it's not every day. What you know, people at home don't talk about ghosts th- yeah. that often. Mm. Uh, and so he, he or she that's around, you know, they get very excited. They go like, "Oh, they're yeah. talking about us. Mm. Let's hear them." Uh, and then they're also hoping that we see them. Maybe we can talk to them. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. It just I don't know. Today just feels a bit weird, man. Yeah. True. True. Weird in a very positive way, like Noel uh, mentioned <laughs> just now. <laughs> but yeah. Man, I I think when we talk about lost souls, yeah, especially when we talk about lost souls, especially just now when you talk about uh uh, uh incident of of um, a mother and a son committing suicide, mm. and also a lot of murder case in Bukit uh, Bukit Batu Nature Park, it just give me that oh the extra chills, man. Yeah, I I yeah. know that if you don't believe in ghosts, I. I've done a lot of stuff at Bukit Batok Nature Park, right? Hmm. And all the years that I've done stuff there, hmm. man, the 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 results have been amazing. I I brought Asia one there for the Halloween special yeah. in October. Yeah. Hmm. yeah, and we had good results too. You know, hmm. uh, yeah, it's a place that doesn't really disappoint. But, but I want, okay. you know, if you can, if you go there in the day, you know, it just feels off. Uh, so we had somebody comment earlier as well yeah. that. Uh, They feel the same way. Uh, Irene, right? Irene says that. Uh, let me scroll up. Let me scroll up. Is not how am I going to sleep tonight? Yeah. So Irene says here. Yes, the park is nearby where I live. Haunted for sure. Mm. Even if early morning you go to this park, it's eerie. Yeah. True. Yeah. True. I agree with Irene. By the way, I just want to ask you, Noel. Mm. When you do a lot of your shoots, uh, when you do a lot of your shoots uh, at Bukit Batok, there, what kind of energy do you feel there? I mean, you have. We have touched a lot of energy. Mm. We have come across with with many kind of different energy. What kind of energy do you feel there, bro? Always, always very negative. Negative. Ah? Yeah, wow. always very negative. I I cannot think of one time that when we went there mm. to to do my paranormal work that okay. that it felt great. You no, know? like you don't feel great to be there. Yeah, that for sure. You know. Mm. And then I remember. Okay, so the Asia one thing was done over uh, a few days. Yeah. Although it doesn't look like it when you watch the video, mm. um, but I remember this one time when I had to do the shoot. So I I walked over because I live nearby. Mm. So I walked over at night. It was raining so heavily, so I was the first to get there. The, the crew didn't arrive, so mm. I was si- sitting in a hut alone. Yeah. At And night. then I felt mm. like there were so many people there with me. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And and oh my I, god. I I don't get freaked out a lot. You know, I don't get freaked out a lot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. When it comes to ghosts, like, mm. I mean cockroaches and all that's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I. I I began to get worried for myself because mm. wh- whatever that was there with me, they they weren't friendly spirits, you know. Do you feel a? Do you say? Do, man, you say that you feel. Uh, is that presence really strong? Oh man, it was so strong. Yeah, strong. Wow. And, and then it was just raining so heavily, and then the crew didn't come to like a lot later. Yeah. Uh, and then I was just wondering to myself, like, how long am I going to take this? But then I told myself, no, I cannot show fear. Because yeah. the moment you show fear, then True. a lot of things go wrong, right? Yeah. I said mm. no. I said it out loud. 
I'm just going to sit here, you know, you guys are welcome to join me. But other than that, yeah, you just do your own thing. I'll do my thing. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Because I believe, right, this kind of entity definitely will approach people with similar similar energy that they can connect themselves with. Mm-hmm. Like you, yourself, you have, you, 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 you can sense, you can yeah. sense things, you know. So I believe they have, they, they, they are channeling themselves to you, towards you. Mm-hmm. That's why you feel that kind of presence, that yeah. strong, that very particular night. Do you think so, bro? Yeah, yeah I think so. Mm. Um, but I also know that if you bring positivity, mm. yeah, they can't really do anything to you. But you're very, very negative mm. and you feel a lot of fear. Yeah. Oh man, they're gonna have so much fun with you, and then you're gonna you're gonna suffer for like a long time. Yeah. Yeah. True. So. Guys, if you're watching, right? If you're going to go to all these haunted places, I know yeah. now it's the in thing. Mm. A lot of teenagers are on, into this. Uh. Yeah, on mm. Bigo and and all these apps, right? Yeah. If you are, if you do not bring positivity with you, and I speak from experience, mm. you're going to go through a lot of shit. Mm. Really, really bad stuff. And you don't just harm yourself; you harm everyone at home with you. True. Yeah. So you just go there. You know, if you can meditate or just channel good energy, and you know, you tell yourself that. Nothing is gonna harm me harm tonight. Me. Yeah, mm. true. Well said, Noel. Oh, thank you very much. I think we have a lot uh, uh, of comments here. Uh, But first, can yeah. we plug um, the buy me a coffee? You oh, do yeah. it because okay, sure. the link is just above you. All right. Okay. Uh, for those who appreciate our content and and would like to show your appreciation to haunted hour, please buy us a coffee. And you can go to the link above or at the video description below, which is www.buymeacoffee.com com slash gfs tv um so far what we have today hmm. is oh my wife my wife bought us two coffees hey thanks gabby yeah <laughs> so gabby says sending love and support to my husband noel and also to indra keep up the awesome work thank you gabby thank you and then ramona uh she bought us three coffees as well she did that last week wow oh, she's so nice thank you ramona thank Great you show as Great show as always, guys! Mm. Wow, wow! Thank you so much! Thank you so much! <sighs> For those watching, if you have opinion about Bukit Batu, please do right put into the comment section. Please, we want to hear from you, our live audience, right? What, yeah. What What is your experience? What is your take on Bukit Batu in general itself? Yeah, and mm. then you can also ask us a question because that's going to come up right now, actually. Yeah. Um, okay. You can ask me a question, Indra, Panji, whoever, or you can just say something nice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Julian Edison Lim, uh, he mentioned here, I love Bukit Batoks. <laughs> I just went there two hours ago. Okay, oh, welcome to the neighborhood. Yeah. Okay, Tommy Liah, Hantu Tete capture. Those who like to play hide and seek, especially kids playing during six to seven plus PM. Okay, mm. quite Weird timing. Okay, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, we have uh, Rogaya Sapuan. The force is stronger tonight. Must be Bukit Batu spirit. Yeah, I I I, I agree. I agree with oh, Rogaya. I, I I know she lives in Bukit Batu as well. Oh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> But for Rogaya Sapuan, yes, I agree with you. The force. Here in the studio is really like it's different. Like Noel has mentioned, he yeah. feel different. He feel like I don't know, like but yeah, for me personally, he's different. Yeah, I've got a bad mm. headache now, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and uh, Tommy Lia, female spirit appear. Where? Where? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the question where? The yeah, question is where? Your house, right? Uh, in our studio, <laughs> do you manage to capture it? During our live show, <laughs> okay. Uh, Julian Edison Lim again. Uh, heard of ghost story in Asia Hotel? I have some real life account as well. Also, oh, okay, all right. Point noted. Mm. Maybe we can talk about that in future episodes. Uh, Rogai Safwan, my old house in Bukit Batok used to have like a forest area nearby. Had experience where it looked like my brother. Entering the toilet, only, only to find out later he was at camp. Another one. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to yeah. scroll down. Another one where it looked like my mother, only to see that she was actually praying in the other room. Wow, that's creepy, man. Wow. 
Okay. Wow. Uh, man, a house, a HGB house. Yeah. Yeah, man, it can happen, man. Yeah, but I have yeah. heard of uh, ghosts that would um, appear as somebody else. So my mom has said this a few times yeah. at home mm. where she would, uh, when I was staying there, right? Yeah. I wouldn't be at home, but she would hear my voice. Yeah. Wow. And then she would think I'm home, but then I'm not. Or times when she knew I was out, but she would still hear my voice. Where? In your room? Hmm? In your room? She will hear your voice. No, in she will hear hear my voice in the room. In the room, lah. Yeah. yeah. No, so, sorry. In the house, like she could be anywhere in the house, but she will hear my voice. Oh my god, that's creepy, man. And, and then not too long ago, mm. uh, we were in this army exercise area. Yeah. And I wasn't at this spot, but this this guy mm. by the name of Jagjit, mm. he thought that he saw me. Okay. Yeah, but then he was like, so when he finally did see me, he was like, "Hey, bro, did you were you wearing a different color top earlier?" Mm. Then I said, "No." They said, oh, because I saw you like 10 minutes ago. You walked by. Oh my God. Yeah, you were wearing a different mm. colored top. And then I said hello and then you, I didn't reply. So he, he thought I was angry with him. But then oh. the fact that is I wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was at the, uh, the the main HQ building, you know, having mm. having this last minute briefing. Mm. So yeah, you know, so people have oh, heard my scary, voice. Man. People have seen me. Yeah. Oh, that's really scary, man. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's up with that. Ooh. Okay, we have another comment here. Masterpiece Marvin. Bukit Batuk Nature Reserve is just beside a World War II massacre site called Sleepy Valley where more than a thousand Allied troops were trapped and killed. Huh. Wow. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. So, what's it called again? Uh, uh, sh- the site was called uh, Sleepy Valley. Sleepy Valley? Hmm. hmm. 1,000 LA troops were trapped and killed. Is this is this documented in our history books? I, I mean, has to be. If yeah. not, how would um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Marvin know about this? Wow. Uh, wow. Thank you, Marvin. Thank yeah. you, Marvin, for the information. Wow. Hmm. Maybe that, that explains also. Yep, I'll definitely mm. Google it. That's yeah. what he just said in the comments. Nice. Uh, Tommy Lia, Bukit Batu, another peak is at the hilltop near Street 34. Ah okay. Hmm. Is is that another haunted place? Ah uh, yeah, indeed. Hmm. There is uh used to be a park. They call it as the Hill Park. Okay. Ah. But it's actually not at Street Thirty Four. Actually, it's more to like West Avenue Two. Hmm. And it's uh about it's just nearby a bus stop. Hmm. Whereby the nine four nine four no no nine four seven ah uh, every time pass by there. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so this now, if you literally go to that area, right? Yeah. This totally forested already because mm. all those climbing steps have been mm. covered up by vegetation because they previously there's no more maintenance by end park if I'm not wrong. Okay. Then totally is shut down mm. naturally, yeah. Yes. But, but from what I've read in Facebook, yeah, on Singapore hikers, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, there are people who ever went up there, like hiking mm. all the way to the top and went to the the other side. Of the hill, mm. whereby is leading to Bukit Batu Road. Mm. Okay. Uh, so that hill park previously, I got another experience also there. Yeah. But that time was uh, when I was in uh, school days. Ah uh, no, when I was serving NS. Okay. When I was serving NS, then I was having this, uh, like how to say, a long weekend lah. We got nothing to do. Mm. Then we don't know where to go. So yeah. I told my friends ah, yeah. why not we ride our bike, mm. like motorbike park at the car park opposite. Mm. Then after that we went up the steps. The okay. steps are like no those big stones whereby they combine together to create a step. Okay. Ah, uh, so it goes up all the way to the top of the hill. Okay. Somewhere around the top, but mm. it's about middle part of it. Then in yeah. the middle part, mm. there's a long table made of natural wood. Then there's a few stools around it, and there's two long uh, bench at the corner. So we were sitting there, the three of us. So I was literally fa- two of us was facing one of my friend. Mm. So my friend was facing the other side. So my friend told me after about half an hour to one hour, then my friend said, "Hey, bro, it's time to go. It's time to go." He can feel it. He can sense it, yeah. Uh, yeah. He mm. not. I believe that he sense lah. Then mm. he said, "Hey, bro, we can go. We can go." Then I was like, "We just here for half an hour only, what?" Then he said, yeah. "Hey, go lah, go mm. lah." Then during those time was Nokia handphone, right? Yeah. So he was SMSing me. Mm. He SMS me in Malay, ah, but I translate in English, ah. Yeah. Nah. He tell me, bro, it's either now or never, right? Before the thing follow us back. We go now. Oh, he, can, he he saw it, Eddie lah. I guess so lah, because oh, he SMS wow. me that way. So wow. I believe that he saw it, because I the like myself and another friend of mine is facing mm. him. So the thing that he saw is is somewhere mm. behind us. Mm. Then after that, I told him lah. When we went down to the bike and my yeah. I was putting on my helmet, I told him, 
Behind got nothing lah Behind got just vegetation Why you yeah. react in that manner mm. You know it's kind of like You're pulling our leg lah <laughs> So you're trying to play prank on us You think what We small kid is it mm. And he was telling Never lah Tomorrow we talk about it lah mm. Don't talk about it now Let's leave mm. Then I left back home Then after that The next day was a uh, Sunday mm. uh, yeah. So a Sunday right So and on the Sunday itself right We meet up mm. under my void dad Then he told me Do you guys know not There's mm. a bench behind us On the top of the side Whereby I'm sitting right yeah. There's on my right shoulder yeah. Like there's a A bit of a hill up Then there's a, another bench on top yeah. And he saw A white fi- a white shroud oh. Standing there So I was telling him like Shroud Are ah. you sure not? Or they call it pochong lah yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some of them don't, don't like to use that word pochong So hmm. some of them use what? Uh, gula-gula uh, sweets Yeah sweets uh. It looks like hmm. tight, uh, What like uh, sweets being you No know, like those hex sweets Maybe for uh, a western Uh, listeners maybe uh, yeah, they, 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 they might not know What, what is, is a pochong or pochong, ah, right? It's a shout It's yeah, a shout it's like a, Maybe it's like a White uh, I mean the, uh, it's, a, it's a male or female figure It can be any a, a, Any gender Male or female figure Who is Muslim Yeah mm. Then after that They are wrapped They are wrapped with ah, White yeah, clo- clothing mm. Yeah when they are mm. passed on yeah. They are wrapped in this uh, This Cloth right Ah yeah, yes white cloth yeah. right. And then uh, Why would they jump out the grave Because the the knot, this is what I know. This is what I know. Yeah? Maybe correct me if I'm wrong. The the knot, right, is not properly uh, entangled, because there's this tradition uh, in our religious belief, right, right, where we need to entangle every knot mm-hmm. appropriately before we bury the sands in, right. Right. So uh, the myth, the myth of that, right, is that uh, this uh, entity is is is. Uh, it's been unleashed because the knot is not properly uh, untied. untied. Mm. Right. Yeah. Okay. So in, a, so in other way, bye bye. Uh, what Indra was trying to say is mm. that uh, the shroud needs an assistant mm. to untie the knot for them. Right. <laughs> Then they will go back uh-huh. to the grave. Yeah. Right. Then heard, they can go back. Yeah, but I heard <laughs> if, when you untie the the knot. Yeah. Right. Then you will get a wish. A, you. They, they, they were going to something <laughs> lah. Yeah. Uh, that, 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 uh, that, that's what we were told when we were young, yeah. when we were growing up. But don't know whether it's true or not. Mm. <laughs> But, so, and the reason why they come to you is not they want to scare you. They want to seek for assistance. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so they need so your help. They, yeah. Could you please help me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's scary lah. Of course, if, man. If, if, and 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 they they can they can't walk. They can only leap and jump. Mm. Right. And right. Hop. Because why? Their their leg is tight. Right, yeah, because of the, of the whole body right? yeah. of the knots, mm-hmm. yeah, that's why. Okay, yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Okay, uh, masterpiece Marvin has he commented on uh, our uh, on on the part just now when uh, we asked about is this documented in the history books about the massacre of uh, Sleep Sleepy Valley? Mm-hmm. Uh, he mentioned that uh, yes, can Google it. Yes, it is. It is documented. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Um, wow. All right, for our Q and A segment, mm. we've got. A question from Z Tamizi, right? Z Tamizi, yeah. Yeah. So the question is: Anyone encounter a marble dropping from top unit neighbor? Now, this mm. is a, a a thing that happens a lot in Singapore, where mm. people hear marbles dropping. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So I, I've heard a lot of stories like this, and then I think there are HDB engineers that say that you know it's just part of the structure, like uh, it's contracting at night. Yeah, that's why you think you hear yeah. marbles. I personally have never heard this. I, okay, you, you, can, can I share my experience sure. of my house? Sure. Uh, when I just move in, I experienced this, mm-hmm. and it's very prominent. And and during that time, uh, we just move in, me, my wife, and my first son. Okay. We, uh, we haven't had the second one yet, so uh, the three of us are sleeping together in the master bedroom. And on that one night. Right when during the first week of uh, we moving in, mm-hmm. we 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 hear this very prominently, very loud. Even my wife uh, is like so scared to 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 go back to bed. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's you not know, like and it and it dropped like with a with, with a tempo, you know, like. Oh my! <laughs> okay. Hmm. That kind of uh, rhythm, you know. Right. Right. <laughs> It's as if like you drop a marble and then you will, you will, uh, you will have a bounce effect, right? Yeah. So that. Hmm. Oh my. So, wow. what do you think it was? I don't know. I don't want to assume anything. So I, I, I try to keep a straight face right in front of my wife. I say, I ah, don't think so much about this. Ah, nothing, nothing. Go back to sleep. 
You know, I'm, I'm I'm trying to be the the, the other person. Yeah. You no, know, I believe every time when we encounter this, right? I think uh, the guy lah, the guy, the guy of the house should step up in a way where you should try to console uh, whoever of your family members who is affected by this. Of course. Yeah. yeah. So I just try to shut it away and then try to sh- shut her off lah. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Um, I I've never heard it, but you know, I'm living on the. The highest floor. I'm living on the 17th oh, floor. Oh man! So if I I'm going to hear this, that I'm going to wonder. You're going to freak out, man. Yeah. <laughs> Who the hell is on on like on the, the rooftop? rooftop. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, from from your from your top floor to the rooftop, right? The concrete slab, the size or in fact the width of the concrete slab, right? Is really is really thick. Yeah, I, you know? I I really hope so. Yeah. So even if someone were to step or stem right in. Right, right at the rooftop, but you won't, you won't be here. You won't, you, 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 you won't be hearing anything actually. Huh? Okay. But if that, if, if, if you, if you can hear something, right? Something must be wrong, ah. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> something must be wrong with your house. <laughs> exactly. No, but mm. my house is totally fine. Cleanse. It's cleansed. Yeah. yeah. It's so good. Yeah. I cleanse my house with sage and all. Uh, I'd like to thank Rakia for buying us 10 coffees. Oh, thank oh, you. No. But she said here no mentions needed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now, my sometimes when we mention is for a good gesture, right? Uh, because we appreciate. Ah, I'm like, so sorry. Like likewise, like you all appreciate our content, we appreciate your gesture. Yeah. Right, of showing us by buying coffee. Yeah, and then mm. the folks that share our uh, our live feed whenever it goes up, you know, thank you for that, and also folks that are leaving comments like throughout throughout the our show. Yeah. Yeah, our show. I got my friend Sylvester who is watching. Hey, bro, we're supposed to catch up, man. Let's do that soon. Yeah, let's do yeah. it. <laughs> um, do we have any more questions? Yeah. Uh, before we wrap up for the night, Mandy is all comments, uh, bro. Right. Hmm. Mandy is all just comment. Yeah. Tommy Lia said, "When I stay at Bukit Gomba, last time my mum used to put pole out gala baju pole lah mm-hmm. uh, out." And one night around 2 a.m., my bro saw Chek Pon sit on the pole. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> on the pole. I, that doesn't freak me out because I don't believe in the Pontiana. He, okay, mm. because you have your scientific point of view on that part, right? Yeah, mm. I, not just scientific. I mean, the big, <laughs> big part of what we do is science. Yeah. yeah. But it's also like you know, never encountering Encounter. her. Like with all the experiments I've done. But it seems that a lot, uh, uh, Pontiana. The entity of Pontianak has been mentioned a lot mm-hmm. throughout our communities. People have seen it a lot. A lot of people have seen her. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, some, 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 uh, a, a, a factor for us to consider that it may exist. Yeah. Mm. My take on it is yeah. your fear, right? What mm. you fear most. So this, um, this dark energy, right, which yeah. uh, I know exists. Would manifest into your your worst fears. Mm. So if you fear the Pontianak, that's what it's going to manifest into. You fear the Pochong, it'll, it'll uh, come. Yeah, manifest mm. into that. Yeah, yes. that's that's my take. Mm. Nice. So yeah, yeah. I think that's about it. Oh yeah, Masterpiece Marvin have uh, shared a link. Oh yeah, has shared a link about this uh, Sleepy Valley, the massacre of Sleepy Valley. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, we're gonna thank check you, it out. Yeah. Thank you, Marvin. Thank you so much. Thank I, you. Yeah, we can't check it out immediately yeah. once we we go uh, off the studio. Like yeah. once the feed sure. is cut, but I I will try to read it tonight mm, or tomorrow. Can. Yeah, sure. And we would like to thank our viewers for tuning in. Right. Uh, yeah. I mean, throughout the whole show of our live show, thank you so much. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, also, like to thank uh, our guest Panji. Thank you for Bungie. joining us. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for Thank having you. me in your studio. I am very honored to share. Wow. You're welcome. Um, yeah, man. You know, we go back a long way, right? From uh, National Service days. Yeah. When we had to wear <laughs> that green uniform. Yeah. Yeah, and then for you to be here now, that that's awesome. <laughs> um, Panji is going to be in a app, right? We mm. we've done stuff for Media Corp, uh, mm. and it's a new series that comes out in March next year. Uh, and he's going to be in one of the episodes. So wow. yeah, congrats, Punji. Yeah. Yeah. Check it out, man. Yeah, he talks about <laughs> Kampung Wak Hassan. Yeah, wow. right. So yep. um, yeah, tune in when we will plug it lah. When it's about sure. to come out, maybe sure. Sure. I'll try to get Adrian Pang up. You know, in the show or on the show, whatever this is called. Hey, yeah. wh- why not, man? Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not, man? Yeah, Adrian Pang. Yeah, in haunted hour. Yeah, but he doesn't believe in ghosts, though. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Oh, but it's Adrian Pang, man. Adrian Pang. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fat boy or what? <laughs> okay, okay. That's bad in the desk, man. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, it's something, man, he's a very prominent figure in Singapore. Yeah. yeah. Right. Can agree. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's the face of Mediacorp also. I grew yeah. up, I grew yeah. up watching his, uh, what, watching his drama series in yeah. uh, China 8. Oh, During wow. those days? Mm. Mm. Uh. Oh, you watch Channel 8? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not bad, not bad. <laughs> yeah, it, and then we can also try to get Lee Kuan Yew on the show one day. Oh, wow. Yeah. You sure? You sure want to talk about that? <laughs> you sure? <laughs> you sure that, that, that we are not going to get into big trouble? <laughs> <laughs> we can have a bit of excitement once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then, then the show will go viral once we bring Lee Kuan yeah, uh, Yew on. The spirit. Wow. That's, that's crazy. Uh. That's crazy. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Hey, uh, thank you this for is everyone. When we say goodnight. Yeah, yeah. So once again, guys, thank you for watching. Mm. If you can share uh, this post on your wall, that would be amazing because it will help us reach out to more people. Yep, true. All right. Uh, once again, thank you, Panji, and also to my co host, Indra. Yeah. yeah. Signing off from Haunted Hour, I'm Indra Sahib. And I'm Noel Boyd. See and I'm you Panji. Next. Yeah, see, <laughs> you next. see you next week. Good next week. Good night. Night. I actually listen to it at work and I don't dare to listen to it before I sleep. Noel is the king of Singapore paranormal. <laughs> You're listening to Haunted Hour, real ghost stories from real people. She could actually see, see things and that freaked her out. The minute I turned off the light, she screamed. She was like, oh no! The following night, the same thing happened. The music continued playing. And then I felt hair like uh, sweeping my left cheek up and down. This is your host, Noel Boyd. I actually listen to it at work and I don't dare to listen to it before I sleep. Noel is the king of Singapore paranormal. <laughs> You're listening to Haunted Hour, real ghost stories from real people. She could actually see see things and that freaked her out. The minute I turned off the light, she screamed. She was like, oh no!